guys, my name is Lily. I am the education assistant here at the Museum of Latin American Art. So today we're gonna teach you guys how to do something that's actually pretty easy to make if you have the materials at home. So we're gonna be doing printmaking with vegetables. We're gonna start off with the material list. You have broccoli, potatoes. Second thing and second most important, ink. Paint brushes also recommended. This is gonna be used to uh, spread the paint all over your fruits and vegetables. Another important step, have a surface to print on. So for this purpose, we're using a piece of paper. We also could use other substitutes such as like tote bags, clothes, fabric. Anything like that would be perfect if you wanna make your own little things. But for this purpose, and easily available, we're using paper. I'm gonna get a little bit of the white. I'm just mixing. Gonna get my paintbrush. Gonna get a thin layer. A little bit of ink goes a long way. So for this step, you're just gonna place your vegetable face down on the paper. And our first print. This could also get a little bit messy, so make sure that you wear clothing that you're not afraid of getting dirty. And then we could always add other things, like for example, broccoli. More color, more texture. Maybe put some pink. Maybe some purple. This is gonna be a different one, but you see, we move the corn, and the texture stays. We have some pink, we have some purple. For some added detail, when it came to the potato stamps, again, if you're a little bit younger, please get your parents' help. What I did was I got the potato, cut it in half, and with the knife, I just kind of shaped out like little um, shapes with it. So for example, for this one, kind of just cut into like a little triangle, cut a little bit of the sides, and then just kind of shaped it as I went along. It's, so I made leaves, I made a triangle, I made a heart. Super fun little activity. See? Little black hearts. And this is my finished product. Like I said, guys, just play around with it, have fun. There's so many things you guys could do with this. Like I said, patches, pins, totes, whatever. Just try it out. If you guys are interested in any more food art, come check out Festina Sabores, which is running here at MOLA until January of 2024. And any more workshops such as this, you guys could head over to our events page at mola.org and see what we have coming up. Bye, guys. Thank you.